What's up YouTube? Cooking with Jax today. Hey, today I got something special for you. We're going to be making conch ceviche. You don't have to go to an exotic location or some kind of exotic islands to get this stuff. You can do it right at your own home. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what's in it. Alright, so guys, all right, guys, look, this is what you're going to need. An onion right here. Um, you can use a red onion or you can, I'm using a Vidalia onion. I'm only going to use about a quarter of this. Uh, I would say it's a fairly large onion. So you only use a quarter of that. You're going to need about half a bell pepper. You're going to need roughly a quarter cup of lime juice. I'm guessing it's going to take about three limes. A small knuckle of ginger and a small jalapeno. Jalapeno is not necessarily for heat. It's more for, uh, you know, color. And you're going to need some mango, as much as you want, a knife, and some hot sauce. This is, happens to be Matuk's Calypso sauce. It's from Trinidad, which is in the lower Antilles, Antilles, and some saltine crackers. And last but not least, you're going to need about a half a pound of conch. I'll show you what it looks like here. Look at that. that. That right there is beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you there's a few other things that you're going to need to do to this conch before we start putting everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up this stuff and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this conch. All right, let's do this. Let's chop up some veg. Now you want to get this uh, chopped up pretty, you know, pretty small chunks, not, not huge chunks, just small. In goes our ginger. So I got a story behind this whole conch ceviche. Um, I love conch chowder i like conch fritters i like uh i like conch in general but uh there's a place in key west and i go to key west quite often there's a place in key west called alonzo's and they have the best conch ceviche that i've ever had and so what i thought is you know i would love to try to make conch ceviche so i went down and happened to be i never really thought much more about it because, I mean, I live on the Gulf Coast, so there's not a lot of, you know, conch around here. So, I happened to be walking in a Publix one day, and I noticed that in their seafood section, they served, well, they had conch, whole conch pieces. So, I was like, all right, now, now we're talking. So, I grabbed up about a pound of it, and I just uh, came home, and I threw these ingredient, ingredients together. And I'm not saying I mimic Alonzo's. Um, conch ceviche but it's pretty dang close so if you don't make this at home or you're unsure about the conch if you're ever in Key West make sure you go by Alonzo's and order their uh, conch ceviche I don't think you'll be disappointed and uh, as a matter of fact this hot sauce I have here this Matuk's hot sauce that is that they serve that hot sauce uh, in in that in that restaurant there and uh, so when I got home, I actually asked them where they got the hot sauce from. There's a little place there. I think it's called Peppers or something. They sell nothing but hot sauces there. And I picked up a couple of bottles there. But you can get it on Amazon. Uh, there's a Matuk's ma makes a few different kinds of hot sauce. But this happens to be the uh, Calypso sauce. So we're only going to use about half, half of this bell pepper, remember. If you're not used to cutting up bell pepper, always cut 
put the skin side down, it's easier to cut. Just a little tidbit of information there for you. All right, when you get ready for your limes, roll them around like this before you start squeezing them you'll get more juice out of them. All right. Like I said, a quarter a cup is what I use. I, I'm not, it's, there's not, this is not rocket science. So I'm using three limes. So quarter cup or three limes, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. The lime is gonna help, I don't wanna say, I guess cook. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's gonna help uh, we'll call it cook. It's going to help cook this conch. But you don't have to cook conch in order to eat it, by the way. You can uh, eat it right out of the shell. And it's very delicious. All right, so now we got all our ingredients in here except for the conch. Oh, right. We got one more thing to put in there, the mango. Just pound it out flat. This brown stuff on here, some people cut it off. Um, it's a little chewier, but you doing this method here, it's not really that big of a deal. done. Basically you just want to chunk it up. And just keep doing that until you got all your conch chopped up. And then just throw it in the, in the mixture here and let it sit in your refrigerator, covered uh, for anywhere from, I don't know, four hours to eight hours to 24 hours. I usually let it sit about 24 hours and uh, then it'll be ready to eat. All right, folks, it's been about uh, a little less than 24 hours and uh, I'm ready to try this stuff out. Yum. Punk ceviche. Do it.